talk about using Kettner's Grandmeister 36. It's the mainstay in my gigging rig. I um, also use the using Kettner uh, single 12 60 watt Celestian speaker. Um, it really rocks and we'll talk about some of the other equipment I use in a, in a standard small club gigging environment. Uh, again Grandmeister 36 is 36 mean watts of two power. Uh, beautiful thing is you can run it at 18 watts, you can run it at 5 watts, you can run it at 1 watt or you can go direct in uh, straight to the board. Um, most times a tube amp is really designed to be run at lower watts, higher volumes. Uh, you get the best sound out of it. Uh, I'm going to give you a small demonstration here. What I'm going to play here, this is, uh, you can get as loud as you really want it, but you can get it one watt right here. <laughs> Get the point. It's a one watt, and that's not very loud volume. We can go even louder. It's only at one watt, okay? Um, we can turn this up. A lot of shows I play at five watts. Um, I've only played a couple of shows at 18 watts. I've never, ever had to play a show at 36 watts. Um, it's a lot of tube power if it's voiced correctly with the right speaker setup. I have run this uh, rig with a 412 Marshall, a 1968 cabinet. It will, it will drive those speakers very nice. You don't have to have 120 watt, old 100 watt plexi or what have you. They're okay. Most people never use all the wattage that's involved in a tube amp. I want to make sure I mention too, I've got my Furman power conditioner. You got to have a power conditioner. I don't care where you're at, especially if you're playing in old clubs in downtown. You can't trust the power if you're playing in your best friend's house or whatever, an old club in downtown here or in Dallas or any number of other places you might be playing. Um, don't trust the power, okay? At any given time on stage, um, a guitar player's probably got about a thousand, maybe two thousand, up to three, four thousand dollars worth of equipment. Sometimes a guitar alone is probably four or five thousand uh, dollars. Your amp could be a couple of grand worth of equipment, um, and you run the risk of getting it trashed by uh, dirty power. Dirty power is um, anything that's not your standard 110, 120 volt. Um, if you get a, a power bump, um, could damage your amp, could trash a tube amp. Brown power is worse than high power, brown power being low power. So if you get into say 96, 97 volt, it's the absolute worst thing can happen for electronics. Um, Eddie Van Halen made his hay with brown power. It's why they call it the brown sound. Uh, he used a Variac, a variable AC device, and he intentionally lowered the uh, input voltage on his amps. 
Um, he trashed a lot of tube heads doing that too. Um, 